In this video, we'll take a look at some of the best antivirus software on the market that you can use for free. If you're looking for an alternative to Windows Defender and not sure which one to pick, then here's a list of the top 5 for you to choose from. First on the list is Avira. Avira Antivirus makes it onto the list and offers real-time protection and updates. It also provides a variety of security, privacy and performance tools for your computer or mobile phone as well. The free version will protect you from malware, but like most antivirus products, they'll always push you to purchase the full versions of their products. But with the free version, you'll still be protected from a wide range of threats. The product is simple to install and the interface looks very slick. You can run a smart scan to check for security, privacy and performance issues. So when the scan starts, it will look for viruses, outdated apps and network threats. So a bit of an all-in-one initial scan to assess the state of your computer. Security has a number of features which includes your virus scans. You can perform full, quick and managed scans. Managed scans lets you create, run and schedule predefined scans to suit when you want them to run. Privacy has a number of good features like browser safety, file shredder, privacy settings, a password manager and a VPN. You can turn on the VPN, but this is capped on monthly traffic, and if you want to change your location, you'll need to upgrade to the Pro version. Performance includes different tools like Optimizer to help free up space on your computer. It also includes Battery Saver, Driver Updater, Duplicate Finder to get rid of double files, and Advanced Tools. Advanced Tools will bring you into the System Speed Up window, which will analyze your computer, but again, if you want to get the full benefits, you'll need to get the Pro version. Overall, a very good free antivirus, but many of the extra components require payment for full functionality. The next antivirus on the list is AVG. AVG has been around for quite a while and has always been a popular free antivirus choice. It includes real-time security updates, scans for malware, ransomware and performance issues, and aims to catch malicious downloads before they reach your PC. Again, there's extra features if you go for the paid version, but the free version is still very good. The free version of the software will still update automatically and includes a virus scanner that blocks and removes viruses, blocks unsafe links, as well as risky downloads and email attachments. It will also scan for PC performance problems, so you can be reassured that your computer is well protected against the latest threats. You'll get additional features in the paid version, but you'll still get good protection in the free version. So you're greeted with a nice interface where it will show you what you're protected against, which in the basic protection is for computer, web and email. On the right hand side, it also likes to highlight the benefits you get by going with the full protection, which includes hacker attacks, privacy and protected payment features. Again, you can run a smart scan of your computer at the bottom of the interface or to the right of that, you can go into the menu. Here it gives you quick access to select the type of scan you want to run on your computer. If you go into the computer protection, it will show you the core defenses that automatically block threats in real time. FileShield scans for any files added to or opened on your PC. And BehaviorShield warns if any application behaves maliciously and also offers ransomware protection and a network inspector to find issues on your network. Web and email highlights your core defenses against web and email threats. WebShield blocks for web attacks and unsafe downloads. Email Shield blocks for unsafe email attachments. It will also send you hack alerts which monitors your account for leaked passwords. You can go to the settings option in the top right hand corner. Here you can tailor the settings for different features. So you can tweak the detection settings in terms of sensitivity in which it deals with file and program detections. File Shield in terms of how it scans any files added or opened on your computer. Whether you want to receive warnings if any application behaves maliciously. Advanced Web Shield settings for botnets and script scanning. Settings for email to detect for anything in a signature or even a custom message to flag emails that scan for having a virus. Enabling different scan options which will change sensitivity levels to include scanning for links or whole files and even a boot time scan to make sure no malicious software has tampered with your system files. Ransomware protection which allows you to go to a strict mode 
and add your own file types that you want to protect. Network Inspector, where you can change scan options and notifications for new devices that appear on the network. In the Tools section, there's a Do Not Disturb mode, which silences notifications when any app is in full screen. And a Quarantine section, which isolates dangerous or malicious files. And a Data Shredder for permanently deleting files. So overall, this is a solid free antivirus and has performed well on a number of antivirus benchmark sites. Next on the list is Kaspersky Security Cloud. Kaspersky Security Cloud is a free antivirus which guards you from viruses on your PC and even on iOS and Android devices. This antivirus is different from the usual Kaspersky software suite, but is more of a stripped down version of its high-end Kaspersky Security Cloud software. The system requirements are still quite light to use, but this is more of a minimum spec in order to get the software up and running. More RAM and CPU on your computer will help deal with the resources required to run scans on your computer. The antivirus protection comes as part of the free version of Kaspersky Security Cloud. As it's a cloud product, you'll need to enter your email during the setup and create a password as well. Once that's installed, you'll be ready to start using the software. Its main window consists of eight panels, which all have different features. The scan option has the traditional quick, full and selective scan options, as well as a background scan option. The privacy protection panel will allow you to check if your account has been leaked on the internet, but if you want to use the webcam protection and private browsing features, then you'll need to upgrade to the full version. Mobile protection allows you to install the app on your smartphone using the QR code. Other features on the home screen that have the orange lock symbol like PC Cleaner you won't be able to use unless you upgrade to a paid version of the Kaspersky cloud security software. It also has a VPN which you can turn on. However, if you want to change your location to a different country, then you'll have to upgrade to the paid version. It also has a password manager that you can use, which you can install during the initial install of Kaspersky Cloud Security. You just need to sign into your account to then start using this handy feature. In the More Tools area, there's a number of options you can go to use here. In Security, there's options to check weak settings, cloud protection, quarantine files, and even a rescue disk feature, which helps to disinfect a critically infected computer when the operating system starts. My network features are locked, so you can't use these. Manage applications features are also locked. Data protection allows you to access a file shredder and an on-screen keyboard to help you protect your data from keyloggers. Clean and Optimize has a number of tools like Unused Data Cleaner and Privacy Cleaner to help delete and clean up files. Browser Configuration which helps to securely configure Internet Explorer and a troubleshooting tool to help clear the traces of malicious objects in the system. And if you need to access reports then here you'll be able to go and get more details on events of possible threats on your computer which you can then export. Overall, a good antivirus that doesn't slow down your computer that much during a scan, but a lot of the tools are only available in the paid versions of the software. Bitdefender makes it into the top 5 as it's a good free antivirus that works well in Windows 10. It also provides protection against anti-phishing and anti-fraud in the free edition. It uses the same antivirus protection engine that you get in the paid version of Bitdefender and some more useful features before getting into the paid versions of the software. After the install, you'll need to sign into Bitdefender. So if you haven't created an account, then it's quick and easy to create this. After you've signed in, you'll then be able to access the product. In terms of some of the other free antivirus products, it's a slightly different graphical user interface. On the initial inspection, you have your system scan available and you can see that the update is finished, which means it's downloaded the latest database definitions from Bitdefender to keep your computer protected. 
Bitdefender will protect your computer from any suspect files that land on your computer, but if you want to scan a file manually, you can just drag and drop it here in the scanning area. I have a file here on my desktop, so if you drag this into the window and let that scan it, it will tell me that a scan completed successfully. And you'll also get a notification in Windows informing you one item was scanned and detected zero threats. And you can click on this for the scan results, which will also tell you how long it took to run the scan. To get into the options of the software, go into the settings option at the top of the application. And we'll go into events. So you can see it's a fairly basic interface. And here you can see the scan we just performed and the update of the virus definitions. Quarantine, which will show suspicious or infected files, which will be temporarily contained here to keep your system safe. The exclusions area lets you exclude websites or files or folders from being scanned. You want to be 100% certain of what you are excluding here, as you don't want to go excluding something that might cause a possible threat to your computer. If you do want to add an exclusion, you can do this via the add exclusion option. And here you can see the options where you can exclude a file or a folder or a website URL. In protection, you have the protection shield, which helps to keep your system safe from malicious attempts on your computer, along with product information. And it's easy enough to get a scan running on your computer, which doesn't seem to be too resource intensive, meaning you shouldn't see a performance hit. Overall, a strong free antivirus, but a simple interface with not too many extras available. It does, however, have excellent scores from independent testing labs and good scores in phishing and malicious URL blocking tests. Last on the list is Avast, and this is a free antivirus which has been out on the market for a long time, but still one that performs very well. It has excellent scores from independent testing labs and has an intelligent antivirus engine which helps to detect and block viruses, malware, spyware, ransomware and phishing. The interface is very similar to the rest of the previewed antivirus products. After the install it will prompt you to run a smart scan which aims to root out hidden malware, unwanted browser add-ons, common PC problems and out of date software. From the menu bar on the left hand side you can go into protection which will show you a load of features for you to use. The usual virus scan options for full, targeted, boot time and custom scans are there to run. Along with rescue disk and scan history links on the right hand side. Core Shield provides options to protect against malware in real time. To scan any files added or opened. Warns if any application behaves suspiciously blocks against web attacks and unsafe downloads and dangerous attachments you may receive by email. The quarantine section will show you what's been detected and locked in the quarantine so can't be run. The Wi-Fi inspector scans for vulnerabilities and strangers piggybacking on your network. Go to scan running to start the process. I'll select home network for this and let that run. This will go off and scan for devices attached to your network. When it's finished, it will give you a list of devices here so you can decide whether you want to block them or not. Ransomware Shield allows you to stop ransomware and untrusted apps from changing, deleting or holding your personal files hostage. So if you want to protect your documents, pictures and desktop folders, just select them from the list and this will enable ransomware protection on them. In the privacy section, the only free option you have available is for hack alerts. You'll need to log into your Avast account to link your email for monitoring, which will alert you in the event your password appears online. In the performance section, you can use the do not disturb mode. Like previous antivirus products we've seen, this will silence notifications from Windows when you have applications added here that are full screen. There's also a software updater to check on installed applications that might have updates available. Updating your apps can help make them less vulnerable to attacks. 
The settings cog in the right hand corner will let you change the options that you have for performance. Tweak settings for various protection settings like virus scans, quarantine, Wi-Fi inspector and ransomware. General settings where you can change things like language, notifications, blocked and allowed apps, privacy and troubleshooting settings. So with excellent scores from independent testing labs, this is a very good free antivirus which you can use to protect your computer with a powerful network inspector and many useful features. So that's my top 5 antivirus software which are available at the minute for free. A free antivirus is a good starter but I'd always recommend upgrading to a full version of an antivirus to get the extra benefits of the antivirus software. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.